For truly you have stopped smoking, or you would not be listening to and using this tape. Because the major purpose of this tape is to increase your determination, your willpower, and your self-control, so that you will, from this time forward, never smoke again. So right here and right now, begin thinking or writing this thought, I, followed by your name, stopped smoking on, and fill in the date in your mind. Yes, you did. You stopped smoking on that date because you wanted to, and that's that. Okay, let's do it once again. I, followed by your name, stopped smoking on. That feels good, doesn't it? That's got to make you happy and fill you with joy because you really did it this time. You stopped smoking, and that's that. Now you can make the best use of this tape by playing it at your regular bedtime. And due to the nature of my voice and the time you have chosen to play the recording, no doubt you will find yourself drifting into a deep, restful sleep before much of the message has played through. This is acceptable because your subconscious mind will still benefit greatly from the message. However, to benefit you on a conscious level, it will be necessary that you play this recording at a time when you're not quite so likely to drift to sleep. At those times, your conscious mind will be made aware of the message, and so your conscious and subconscious minds will both hold the same thought, and you will stop smoking because you choose to, and you will have done it with such very little effort on your part that you will be amazed at the power of your mind, truly, your unlimited potential. Now, for best results, I suggest that you plan to play this tape for two or three weeks consistently, day and night, after you've stopped smoking, after the date that you have chosen. And then, use the tape periodically, perhaps once a week or once a month, as you feel the urge or the need or the desire. Now, as we're about ready to begin, find yourself in a comfortable position, either sitting or lying. Good. Begin by taking a long, slow, deep breath in through your nose. Hold the breath to the mental count of four. Allow your eyes to close normally and naturally. Open your mouth. And then slowly exhale all the air from your body. A long, low sigh. And let go. And let go. Now, in the event of an emergency experience, while playing this or any other hypnotic recording, you would find yourself immediately wide awake and able to handle any situation. You would be able to handle it very relaxed and in a calm manner. Relax. And experience yourself drifting deeper and deeper and deeper, becoming much more relaxed. Any time while you're being hypnotized, either through a recording such as this, or by a professional hypnotist personally, you can always bring yourself to full awakening consciousness. All you would need to do, or have to do, or want to do, would be to count the numbers from one to five. And at the count of five, your eyes would open. Your mind will become clear and alert. Your entire body will be well rested and relaxed. One additional point. As this is a self-hypnotic tape, it is never ever advisable to be playing this recording in a moving automobile, or at any time for that matter when you wish to maintain full awakening consciousness. Take a second long, slow, deep breath now in through your nose. Hold. Open your mouth. And as you exhale, slowly count from eight to one, and let go. Go deeper and deeper, and deeper. At the count of three, I want you to project yourself mentally to a place in nature, a beautiful place. Be there at three, one, two, three. Create in your mind, in your imagination, a beautiful place a very peaceful place. A place
place and a day with a warm, gentle breeze blowing across your body. A blue sky. Occasionally some clouds and a brilliant sun. You can sense and feel and experience the light from the sun shining down around your body in an area about five feet in diameter. And there's a feeling of peace. Gently and easily, focus your attention on your right arm. Bring the light from the sun over your right arm from the tips of your fingers to your shoulder and move it back and forth, up and down. And as you do, the right arm goes relaxed, deeply relaxed. As the light penetrates the skin and the nerves and the muscles and the tendons and the bones, you go deeper and deeper. Move the light from the sun now to the left arm, from the fingertips to the shoulders. Just move it back and forth, up and down. And soon, the left arm, from the tips of the fingers to the shoulder, will become very, very relaxed. So with each breath that you take in, with each word that I utter, a sense and feeling of peace and relaxation will increase. Focus the light from the sun now over your right leg, from your toes to your hip bone. Move it gently back and forth, down and down. The right leg is relaxed. And so the light from the sun now moves to the left, from the toes to the hip. Bring it back and forth, up and down, down deeper and deeper and deeper. Gently now, bring the light from the sun into your stomach and feel it beginning to warm and to glow there. Feel every organ, every system, every cell, every consciousness in the lower part of your body Respond to the light from the sun as you let go. As you let go. As you move the light from the sun now into your chest, you can feel it beginning to warm in the glow there. You can feel the muscles around your lungs relaxing. You can experience your lungs relaxing. And automatically your breathing becomes deeper and easier. And more pleasurable. Go deeper. Bring the light from the sun into the body through your head. Let it guide its way down your spine till it touches your tailbone. And when it touches your tailbone, it will begin pulsating and radiating out through every nerve of your body. Now, if at this time there's any organ, or any system, or any nerve of your body that may not be functioning as it should, I say this to you. That every organ, every system, every cell, every consciousness of your body is to heal and is to function as it should. The light relaxes your shoulders and your neck. Your scalp relaxes. Your forehead relaxes. The little muscles around your eyes relax. Your cheeks relax. Your jaw opens slightly. Finding extra saliva there, you swallow it. You go deeper and deeper and still deeper. And you drift deeper and become more and more relaxed with each word, with each breath, with each moment. Now, in a few moments' time, you will be hearing suggestions that will strengthen your determination, your desire, and your willpower, and your self-control. Suggestions that will fortify you from within and without, 
and will make it possible for you to continue to maintain your integrity and your word. For on the date that you have chosen, you've stopped smoking, and that's that. Before you hear these suggestions, however, we're going to prepare your body and your mind to receive them, just as a farmer prepares a field before he does the planting. So at the count of three, imagine, feel, and let come into your awareness the fact that your body has been transformed into a glass container. One, two, three. Your body is now a glass container. And at this moment through your toes, I want you to feel it beginning to fill up with a warm orange colored liquid. Feel the warm liquid move all the way up your leg to the trunk of your body. And then it moves all the way up to your trunk of your body to your shoulders. And then it flows down quickly to your fingertips and then continues to fill up every organ, every cell, every consciousness of your body all the way up your neck, your head, your sinuses. And then it even flows out every hair of your body, filling up every part of your body as though your body were a glass container. The orange-colored liquid has two important duties to perform. First, it will dissolve from every cell and every consciousness of the body the very thought of smoking. Secondly, as you concentrate your attention at this moment in your lungs, you can feel the liquid beginning to scrub the tar and the nicotine and the poisons out of your lungs and put it in suspension in the orange-colored liquid. It is as if thousands of scrubbing bubbles are working there. Concentrate. You can feel it now. Scrubbing. Cleaning your lungs. At the count of three, in your imagination, I want you to imagine that you're a very small diver and that you will be in your lungs cleaning them. One, beginning to be a diver. Two, moving into your lungs. Three, you are now a small diver in your lungs, and your job is to clean the lungs of the tar and the nicotine and the poisons that are left there. You can use and create whatever is necessary. Begin now. Clean all the garbage and put it into suspension in the orange-colored liquid. Cleaning the lungs. Both sides. Put something in your lungs for the smell. Excellent. The unique experience at this time is that you would be able to carry on a conversation in your imagination with your lungs. Go ahead. Just talk to them. Listen to them. Good. Now I want you to move from your lungs to your tailbone. Count of three. One, moving to your tailbone. Two, almost there. Three, arriving at your tailbone. Now many of the nerves of the body are connected through the spine, and the nerves have been severely damaged by the chemicals of this tobacco. Your job is to take the salve which is already in the orange-colored liquid and coat your nerves from the tailbone to your brain. And as you coat them, they will become relaxed and they will heal. And when you reach your brain, I will meet you there in a room called Central Control. And in this room, there will be an old-fashioned telephone switchboard. I will meet you there in one moment's time. Your job now to coat the nerves from your tailbone to your brain. Coating the nerves. Arriving in your brain in a room called central control. You are now to take a seat at an old-fashioned telephone switchboard. There are many wires connected to the switchboard, and these wires represent the mental and physical, emotional and psychological associations with smoking. As you disconnect the wires, you will disconnect yourself now and forever 
from the behavior of smoking. And you will stop smoking, and that is that. Now there's a wire there that represents your morning ritual, your first cigarette of the day. You are now to reach in your mind, in your imagination. Disconnect that wire, and you will stop smoking. Why? Because I'd much rather breathe than smoke. If in the past you've associated smoking with driving or being driven in an automobile or a truck, disconnect and stop. Stop smoking. Why? Because I'd much rather breathe than smoke. If it has been your pattern in the past to smoke when you're speaking on the telephone, disconnect that wire and stop. Stop smoking. If you've associated smoking in the past with your job, reach up and disconnect. Disconnect and stop. Stop smoking. If you've associated smoking in the past with a work break, reach up and disconnect and stop. Stop smoking. If in the past you've associated smoking with a meal, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, before, during, or after, you are now in your mind and your imagination to reach up and disconnect. Disconnect the wire and you will stop. Stop smoking. If you've associated smoking in the past as a sociable activity because everybody else was doing it, reach up and disconnect and stop. Stop smoking. For it is all right for you to stop smoking and still be one of the gang and prove everyone wrong. If it has been your habit in the past to smoke during any sporting activity, such as bowling or golf or fishing or tennis or hunting, stop. Stop smoking. Reach up. Disconnect. And stop. If you've associated smoking in the past with watching TV or reading a book or a newspaper, then reach up and disconnect and stop. Stop smoking. Emotional factors are involved in smoking, and if in the past you've associated smoking with a feeling of anger, then reach up, disconnect, and you will stop. Stop smoking. Tension. Reach up. Disconnect. Stop smoking. Nervousness. Reach up. Disconnect. Stop smoking. If in the past you've associated smoking with fear, reach up, disconnect, and stop smoking. Resentment, disconnect, stop smoking. You are now going to disconnect the psychological factors involved in smoking. It has long been recognized that smoking is an unconscious death urge, and at this time your life urges are so much stronger than your death urges. So reach up, disconnect, stop Stop smoking. If smoking has been a form of oral gratification for you, reach up, disconnect the wire, and you will stop. Stop smoking. If in the past smoking has been associated in your mind with guilt, reach up, disconnect, and you will stop. Stop smoking. Now, if there are any other wires there, I want you to reach up and disconnect them and stop especially the wire that represents your evening ritual and the last cigarette of the day. Good. It is now time to allow the orange-colored liquid to leave your body. Automatically, there are two sets of valves. There are valves in the fingertips and valves in the toes. They are now open, and these valves are now allowing the orange liquid to flow out carrying with it as it leaves the tar and the nicotine and the poisons and the very thought itself of smoking. As it leaves, you can see how dirty and ugly it is, heavy with saturated tar and nicotine and the poisons. And as this orange liquid begins to clear your lungs, you find immediately that you can breathe easier and that you feel relaxed and at ease. And as the last of the liquid leaves you, I want you to check over your lungs and you will see that they've turned to a beautiful, healthy color, and you are breathing easier even now. At the count of three, you will find yourself back in that beautiful day, relaxing, relaxing, 
relaxing. One, two, three, deeper and deeper, more and more relaxed. Down, down, down. Each and every suggestion that you're going to hear is a permanent and a total part of you. You will hear them and you will begin carrying them out. They will become effective immediately, and this is so. For these suggestions are for your benefit, you desire it, and it is so. Because you know that no one is making you stop smoking. Nobody could ever make you do anything you do not want to do. You could double the number of cigarettes you're presently smoking, if you wanted to, if it was your choice. But of course you do not want to do that, because you've made a decision to stop, because you really want to stop, because you can stop smoking, and because you did, and you proved everyone wrong. Therefore, from the beginning, from that beautiful time in your life, that important date in your life, you stopped smoking, and you became a non-smoker. And all that you need to do, whenever the negative thought of smoking attempts to enter your mind, is to become aware of it, and to dissolve it with a long, slow breath, and the count eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. And every time you did, it became more and more effective for you. And soon, and very soon indeed, even the very thought of smoking itself had dissolved from ever from your life. So relax. You know this to be true. You know that some people become very resentful and very irritable when they're going to try and quit. You also know the reason. The reason is because they really do not want to stop. They were only kidding themselves. They were fooling themselves about going to try and quit. They were only setting themselves up to fail. They were treating themselves like children and saw all they ever thought about was what they could not do. And, of course, it brought on a strong thought of smoking, and that brought on withdrawal symptoms. Now, since you really wanted to stop, and since no one is forcing you to stop, you will find that you're totally and completely free of any feeling of resentment. You're totally and completely free of any feeling of anxiety. You're totally and completely free of any feeling of being cheated. You're totally and completely free of any feeling of going without. What you do feel and experience is the most tremendous sense of joy and accomplishment because you have made up your mind to stop, and you did. You found that you became much more relaxed around members of your family and people that you worked with because every time you took the deep breath, you relaxed more and more. All members of your family, people that you work with, all delighted in the change in you. And it seemed to be because you stopped being a slave to a weed. Relax and go deeper and deeper, more and more relaxed. Beginning from that beautiful day, that beautiful time in your life, the urge and the need and the desire, the habit and the impulse for ever smoking again left you. For truly it seemed you were able to visualize and experience the reasons why you started smoking and the reasons lost their hold upon you forever. As you remember now, way back, when you began to smoke, remember. And as you remember, place the reasons on a blackboard in front of you. When you began to smoke, was it for a reason of resentment? Did you do it to gain a feeling of power? Did it make you feel more grown up or sophisticated? Did you do it to become one of the gang? Whatever the reasons that you smoked are now appear before you on the blackboard. And now that you're an adult, really an adult, you look upon smoking entirely different. When you really think about it, 
You recognize that there is no need in you or void in you, nothing to be filled by a cigarette. And as you really look upon it, smoking is a sign of immaturity, not maturity. However, you accept the fact that you smoked for a long period of time, that you did get some enjoyment, some satisfaction and comfort. But it has come to an end, and you have simply decided to stop, and that's that. So in your mind, in your imagination, I want you to wipe that blackboard and clean and wash it clean forever. And as you do, the urge and the need and the desire, the habit and the impulse the very thought itself will be washed away and wiped away forever. It will no longer be there. It will no longer bother you. And this is so. Because when you really think about it, there isn't that much pleasure in smoking. And there's a great deal about smoking that is unpleasant. And so you simply choose not to smoke again. And so all that you need to do to strengthen these suggestions from within and without to take a long, slow, deep breath and count eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And each and every time you do, the suggestions will become ten times more powerful for you. Whenever in your life you accomplish something, it always promoted a feeling and a sense of satisfaction. If there was something hard to do, then there was simply a greater sense of satisfaction and a greater sense of accomplishment. And having stopped smoking, you experience the most tremendous sense of accomplishment, a joy and a freedom all known only too infrequently in your life. Because you are successful, because you really wanted to stop, because you can stop and prove everyone wrong, and because you did stop, and that's all. You stopped on that important day. And beginning from that day forward, you became a non-smoker, and that was that. And all that you needed to do to make it happen was to take a deep breath. And you found it so easy to do, because you have much more satisfaction in having stopped smoking than you ever had in the past from smoking. For it is a real accomplishment to have stopped, something of which you're very proud and very pleased to have done, although you find it surprisingly easy to do, because all that you'll need to do is to take the breath and count from eight to one and relax, drifting deeper and deeper, becoming more and more relaxed. Repeated use of this tape ensures that your determination, your desire, your willpower maintains itself at an ever-increasing level. Every time you use it, it multiplies in effectiveness ten or more times because this time you really did it. You stopped. Although occasionally you are tempted, your determination does not falter, for there truly is no temptation, no person, no thing, no event that is stronger than your determination your willpower, your self-control, and your self-respect. Because you really wanted to do it, because you did, and you can, and because it's over. So you know that you really don't need it anymore, that you don't want it, and that you don't have to have it, and that you're a whole and a total and a complete person. There is no need in you, there is no void, there is no reason for a crutch, and there is nothing to be filled. You merely stop smoking, and that's that. There were many reasons why you personally made the decision. Some of them, of course, had to do with your health. Perhaps you recognize that smoking has affected your health. You were aware that it causes all kinds of physical problems. You knew this for a long time. So perhaps, maybe, that was the main reason why you decided to stop. In addition to that, it could be that smoking got too expensive, or perhaps you just didn't want it to affect children, both born or unborn. Perhaps you just got fed up with the smell and the burn holes and the clothing and the stink on your clothing. When you put all the reasons, all the possible reasons together, you just simply decided you didn't want to do it anymore, so 
so you didn't. And that was that. And immediately from the moment you stopped, you felt better. It felt as if a great weight had been lifted from you, and you felt at ease about it. As a matter of fact, you began sleeping more soundly and feeling better during the day. Your health improved, and you were able to work much more easily. Your mind was clear and alert, and you felt better. Maybe that was the reason why you stopped, just because you felt better about yourself and about life in general. Then there was a period of time after you stopped, from the first day that you stopped, when you drank a lot of water. It seemed like that time lasted for three days and then began to taper off. You were also eating a lot of fresh fruit. The fruit really appealed to you, and that also lasted for the same three days. It seemed that this three-day period was necessary for your subconscious mind to make the adjustments in the chemical action of your body. What was really nice is that your body maintained and adjusted its weight to the proper level for you. This could mean that you will take off from anywhere from two to seven or more pounds per month until you reach that proper level for you. Likewise, if it would be right and proper for you, your body may even add weight. However, during and after the three-day period of time, it seemed that your appetite and hunger adjusted to the right level for you. And there was no reason to gain weight, so you didn't. As a matter of fact, if it was right for you, you began taking off weight, two to seven or more pounds per month at that time. All that you ever needed to do from that day forward to strengthen your determination, your willpower, and your self-control to make it all possible was to take a deep breath and count eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Now that you've stopped smoking, and smoking is something in your past, you are very pleased and very glad that it's over, that you are through with the habit. The habit so removed itself from your life that even the very thought of smoking has dissolved and made you completely neutral. As a matter of fact, when others around you smoke, you are not even tempted. It is as if the smoke is neutral, like it really isn't there. Even today, when you watch another person smoke, you have a unique feeling of superiority and accomplishment even though you found it surprisingly easy to stop smoking, because all you needed to do to stop was to take the deep breath and count eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. You know, watching others smoke, that they really don't want to smoke. You know that they would like to stop, but you also recognize that they do not have your determination, your willpower, or your self-control yet. They don't have that unique feeling of self-worth and self-respect that caused you to make the decision to stop. You really liked yourself and wanted to treat yourself more kindly and more lovingly. Therefore, you decided to stop smoking. You know that the people that smoke are silly and not in control of their own life. But that's their business. In your case, you've stopped. And you feel very good about it. And you're very glad that it's over. And all that you ever needed to do to make it happen was to take the deep breath and count eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. Each and every time that you took the breath, you draw more life-sustaining energy from your personal connection with infinite being and infinite intelligence, and your determination, willpower, and self-control are strengthened. Because this time you really wanted to do it, this time you did, and you proved everyone wrong. 
Now, even in a sleeping state, you remember and you carry out each and every suggestion that your subconscious has heard. For your subconscious mind is now accepting each suggestion and is beginning to bring them effectively into your life, even from the very first plane. These suggestions are going to well up and become very strong. They're going to stay that strong forever. You will find it very easy now to imagine, at the count of three, that it's one week and one day since you've stopped, stopped smoking, and you will experience or re-experience that day. One, two, three. Good. It is now one week and one day since you've stopped smoking, and you're either experiencing or re-experiencing that day. At the count of three, it will be one month and one day since you stopped smoking, and you will be experiencing or re-experiencing that day. One, two, three. At the count of three, it will be six months and one day since you stop smoking, and you will be experiencing or re-experiencing that day. One, two, three. At the count of three, it will be one year and one day since you stop smoking, and you will be experiencing or re-experiencing that day in your imagination. One. Two, three. If you're playing this recording, and it is your regular bedtime, your subconscious mind is directed to void all awakening suggestions, and you are directed to continue sleeping into your normal awakening time. And when you wake up, you will feel refreshed and alert. You're going to feel healthier and better than you have in a very long time. If you're playing this recording at a time other than your regular bedtime, you will now hear me count the numbers from one to five. At the count of five, your eyes will open, your mind will become clear and alert, and you'll feel very refreshed, as if you've had a brief nap. You will feel better than you have in a very long time and be able to go about and complete your normal activities. One. Two. Coming up now. Three, moving and stretching, coming up. Four, coming wide awake. However, voiding all awakening suggestions, provided you're playing this recording at your regular bedtime. Five, the number is five, playing the recording at a time other than your regular bedtime. You've heard the count, and you're coming to full awakening consciousness.